Okay, hello and welcome to this short video um, which is exploring just how much weight the digital bird pan tilt head can carry on the tilt axis. I've had some uh, questions online uh, regarding this. There are some people out there who want to move uh, black magic cinema cameras uh, and even a few reds and they want to know how much the, the, the tilt can handle. Now, the pan isn't a problem, it can handle up to about 10 kilograms. Um, originally I was using a 30 to 1 gearbox in the specification for this and I could carry the uh, A7 III with the G Master no problem at all up to about 2 kilograms. So we're about to test it with a much heavier load. Now I don't happen to own a Black Magic or a Red Epic, um, but I have something much better. I have the Beast. <laughs> Now the Beast is an 8mm old uh, cine camera with an old Sigma zoom lens on top. This is uh, a kilogram, uh, the Sigma lens is half a kilogram and the Sony and the G Master are one and a half kilograms. So the total mass here we're moving is three kilograms. The question is, can it lift it on the tilt axis? So if we power it up, we'll have a look. Let's give it a second. And we'll come down. Going down is the easy part. Okay, so there we are, fully at the bottom. And if we start coming up. There we go, easily lifts the three kilograms. Now that's the equivalent spec probably to the um, a rhino. Now I know the rhino says it can carry up to 15 pounds, but if you read the instructions, that's not 15 pounds to the full 180 degrees. <clears throat> it's a much more reduced weight, probably similar to this uh, if, uh, over the uh, full 180 degree mark. So we'll just test that. If we take the little digital bird remote here and we can set a new out point. And bring our camera down. We'll go with that. Let it play. So there we go, the system does work with heavier weight. And nobody's happier than me. Um, it has thrown up one problem with the system. Um, the heavier weights put a much bigger strain on this piece, piece here and the, the bearing that, that sits inside the base of the system here. So I would recommend that you beef up the amount of fill on the base of this to more securely hold that bearing. Also there's a central axle running up through here which just uses a bearing as a guide at the moment at the top. I think what I'm going to do is put a um, a cotter pin or a, a, a washer onto the end of that which will more firmly hold that bearing in its seat uh, inside the system just so that when you do use much heavier weights it doesn't have a tendency to pull that bearing out of its seat uh, at the bottom there and if you saw any hesitancy there it wasn't happening here it was happening down here at the at the base okay i hope that satisfies some of the questions and i look forward to the next one bye